Hello, and thank you for joining me on the social media training system. My name is Allison Tibbs, and I'm going to be going through each module with you. The first module I want to talk about is the basics, the basics of social media. The ultimate goal of social media is to establish a know, like, and trust factor. That is so important as you're building relationships on social media. People ask me all the time, what is the true goal of using social media? And I always say to build relationships, to establish know, like, and trust, and to really create a community of people, of fans, of followers, or of a network, or people who truly want to connect with you and your brand. As you build these relationships and establish this know, like, and trust, it allows you to connect with them, to create a dialogue, and to really establish a real relationship that can allow you to move these people to become your ideal clients and future clients and customers. Now, the first thing you want to do when you get onto social media is think about the ideal person. Think about the people that you want to connect with and understand that they have a problem that you can solve. So think about your target market, your ideal client or customer, and think about what problem it is that they have. You also want to be able to know how you are qualified to solve it. What experience, expertise, credentials, what things do you possess that make you a number one solution provider for this person? This is going to be important because as you develop your relationships and connect with people on social media, your objective still at the end of the day is to help them solve a problem because that's what your product or your service is. It's basically a solution to a problem or a need that this person has. So think about what problem they have and how you are qualified to solve it. The next thing you want to do before you really jump into social media is determine your content. This is so important. A lot of times when I work with people, they're, they get on social media and they are so excited and they'll get on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Instagram and Pinterest and every other platform that's available. But what happens is they don't really think about the content. And at the end of the day, you have to make sure that if you start to promote and advertise your Facebook fan page or your Twitter page or your YouTube channel, is that you understand what the true benefit to connecting with you on these platforms really is. So for example, if you are a personal trainer, it might be important for you to let people know, listen, my Facebook page is going to be chock full of information and content that will give you ideas for workouts, injury prevention, recipes for healthy meals that can keep you fit and trim as you're developing your workout program and regimen, links to articles about health and fitness, or whatever else you may think that your ideal person would want to know from you. That's the benefit of connecting with you. The benefit isn't to say that, hey, I'm a Facebook fan of this personal trainer, but the benefit is, wow, this personal trainer is giving me so much content and information that can help me with the problem that I have. They're qualified because they're a trainer. They're qualified because they've worked with people just like me. They have a lot of training and expertise and experience to really allow me to trust their recommendations. And also, I know who they are and I like who they are and I like the content that they're providing. Now, this is also important because when that person is ready to look into a health program or a fitness program, if they've built that no like trust factor with you, they have a relationship, you've proven that you can solve their problems, then you're going to be one of the people that they will consider when making a purchase decision. So think about your content, not just in terms of answering and solving the problems and the questions that your ideal target or your ideal client or customer has, but also think about how you can educate them, motivate them, inspire them, and entertain them. Remember, this is all about social media, emphasis on social, building a relationship, a dialogue, creating a community with people. So think about different ways. How can I educate my ideal person, my ideal client or customer on whatever it is that they need from me? How can I motivate them? Motivate them in life, but also motivate them to work with you or to buy from you. And this doesn't mean selling. This means making recommendations because when someone looks at you as a person that they trust, they're not looking to be sold. They're looking for you to provide them with solutions, opportunities, and options. So you recommend your products or services to them because they're coming to you as a trusted source. 
inspire them, make them feel good about working with you, make them feel good about themselves, make them feel that, you know, by connecting with you, their life is a little bit better. And then lastly, entertain them. It's okay to be funny. It's okay to have a little comic relief, but just make sure that you keep it tasteful, you keep it clean, and you just make sure that you're not doing anything that would upset or, you know, turn off or repel your ideal client or customer. Remember to do your homework. Research, research, research. Research your ideal client or your customer or target. So again, that ideal person, understand not just the problems that they have, but also to understand how and where they use social media. That's so important for you because if your target market is on Facebook, but you're spending all of your time on Twitter, then you're missing the mark and you're missing a big piece of the pie. So do your homework on how your ideal clients, customers, and targets are using social media, what they're looking for in social media, how they're interacting, how they're communicating, and where they are on social media. Also look at your competition. Your competition really can be a great way for you to know how to use social media the right way and how to use social media the wrong way. So as you do some research and you figure out who your competitors are, whether they're direct competitors or indirect competitors, figure out what they're doing on social media and pay attention. If they post quotes or if they're posting videos or photos and they're getting a lot of likes and comments and retweets and discussions being built around those, and they have the same target market as you, it may be a good idea to start implementing some of those strategies into your social media efforts. Now, it doesn't mean copying verbatim what they're saying or what they're doing, but by observing how their communities are interacting with them, and if they're similar to you, it may be worth a shot to at least try that out to see if it works for you. And it may take a little bit of tweaking and adjusting some things, but this could be a great way for you to really see how to make social media work. And also, you don't have to recreate the wheel. You also want to look at the industry. Look at your industry. Look at if you're in, again, let's go back to the per- personal trainer. If that person, you know, in the personal training industry, let's look at how the industry is using social media. For example, for a personal trainer, there's probably a lot of stuff going on with YouTube because people can post videos of workouts, they can post how they're preparing their meals, they can post how to stretch, they can do a lot of different ways of explaining and showing people how to really exercise properly and take care of themselves. So keep an eye out on how the industry is really accepting, nurturing, and utilizing social media. Lastly, Think about the different social media platforms. Really do your research on which ones will work best for you. Of course, you want to use ones that your clients and customers are using, as well as that ones that your industry are really utilizing and nurturing. But you also want to make sure that you understand all the different social media platforms that are out there by just doing research. Because each one of those platforms requires a different commitment and time, as well as there's some costs that are associated with each platform. So for example, if you don't have time to tweet 10 to 20 times a day, chances are Twitter won't be a very lucrative platform for you to utilize. You may need to use something that requires less time. But if the only platform that you're finding is Twitter that requires a lot of time and effort, then you may have to just really buckle down and really make it a commitment to start tweeting and staying active in that social media platform. But again, by doing your research, you'll be able to find where your niche market is, how they're acting, how they're communicating, how they're interacting, and really build an opportunity for you to use social media to help you with your business.